Hello students. Once again, we are now on Unit 8. This is English 3. We are on page 63, the bottom of page 63 in the Fast Track 3 book. How often do you use your phone to ch do these tasks? Check the boxes in the table. Never means you just don't do it. Seldom means you sometimes do it. Often means you do it a lot. Always means you do it at least every day. I use my phone to check email. Now, some people check email on their, on their laptop, um, on their iPad. Um, you're, you're only talking about your phone here, okay? Check the correct box for you, okay? This is your answer. I use my phone to send text. Listen and repeat. I use my phone to check email. I use my phone to send text messages. I use my phone to pay for purchases. I use my phone to see the weather. I use my phone to take photos. I use my phone to listen to music. I use my phone to shop online. I use my phone to use GPS navigation. I use my phone to do banking. I use my phone to play mobile games. Okay, now listen and repeat. How often do you use your phone to check email? I never use my phone to check email. Okay, now we're going to do this and I'm going to give you my answers. Listen and repeat the question. Give your own answers from your chart when you're when you're answering them, okay? You give your answers. How often do you use your phone to check email? I sometimes use my phone to check email. I, I uh, that would be seldom. I seldom use my phone to check email. How often do you use your phone to check email? I often use my phone. Sorry. <laughs> Let's try this again. How often use your phone to send text messages? I often use my phone to, to send text messages. How often do you use your phone to pay for purchases? I seldom use my phone to pay for purchases. I usually do that for my computer. I don't do that for my cell phone. How often do you use your phone to check Sorry, how often do you use your phone to see the weather? How often do you use your phone to see the weather? I always use my phone to see the weather. How often do you use your phone to take photos? I seldom use my phone to take photos. How often do you use your phone to listen to music? I seldom use my phone to listen to music. How often do you use your phone to shop online? I never use my phone to shop online. How often do you use your phone to use GPS navigation? GPS navigation is something like Neighbor or Google Maps, a map, uh, Gito, that, that tells you where you are and guides you to where you're going. I, uh, I Seldom use my phone to use GPS navigation. How often do you use your phone to do banking? I never use my phone to do banking. I do that on my home computer. How often do you use your phone to play mobile games? I always use my phone to play mobile games. Uh, I play games for like five minutes in between uh, classes or work in order to clear out my brain. Very good brain user. All right, so now you know when you're doing this. Now, this classroom activity is important for the test. 
You need to know never, seldom, often, and always. And you need to know the, uh, the information here. You need to know the vocabulary. And you need to know how to talk about what you do. One of these questions is probably on the test. Will be how often do you? Okay? You need to be able to answer the question. And remember, you can lie on your test. You don't have to sit here and think, well, do I never? Do I sell them? Just answer the question on the test. I'm not, you know, going to worry about it, uh, whether or not you do it seldom or often or whatever. We just want you to use the correct grammar on the test. Okay, moving on. Classroom activity. Oh, wow. <laughs> cool. You get to do a uh, fill in the blank. Um, this is a crossword puzzle. It's called a crossword puzzle. Crossword puzzle of tools and gadgets. Tools and gadgets. Okay. So, um, first one is to measure temperature. That's called the thermometer. Thermometer. That's, that's one down. Uh, notice there's down, which goes straight down, and the cross goes over. Okay. Two is ladder to climb walls. Ladder. Okay. All right. Uh, five to hit nails is a hammer. Eight is to show reflection. Should be a mirror. And... Uh, Let's see, um, to tell time, that's a watch, W-A-T-C-H, it's E, watch, W-A-T-C-H. The mirror is G, M-I-R-R-O-R, -R -R. one more time, M-I-R-R-O-R, -R -R. mirror, okay. To move vehicles, that's nine across. That is a tire, T-I-R-E, or wheel. Oh, we're doing wheel, W-H-E-E-L, wheel. They mean the same thing. Okay, so 9B is wheel, W-H-E-E-L. F is, of course, a hammer, H-A-M-M-E-R, which is 5 down. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, to attach papers. That's 11 down. That's a stapler. S-T-A-P-L-E-R. It's stapler. That's uh, 11 down. 15 across. And to amplify sound. To amplify sound. That is a speaker. That's J. S P E A K E R speaker. S P E A K E R speaker. Okay. Fourteen to take notes. H pencil. P E N C I L. P E N C I L. That's H. Okay. All right. Um. Okay, uh, and to straighten hair, that is a comb, C, C-O-M-B, okay, and 19, uh, to make holes, I, uh, that is a drill, D-R-I-L-L. -L. Okay, the rest of this is on page 106. Take a look at 106 here. Okay, rest of it's on 106. Okay. Okay. Now we have more things here. We have A. All right. All right, so. So three across is to stir liquids. You do that with a spoon. S-P-O-O. N, spoon. It's a spoon. Okay, let's look over here. Um, to add numbers is E. That is a calculator. C A L C U 
C-A-L-A-T-R, calculator. Okay, uh, let's see. Four, to dig soil. That is a shovel. That is H. S-H-O-V, like Victor, V-E-L, shovel. Okay, to type letters. Ten is A, keyboard, K. E Y B O A R D, keyboard. Seven, to record dates. That's G, that's a calendar. C A L E N D E R, calendar. Okay, 13, to tie shoes. That is J, that is a shoelace. Okay, to tie shoes, 13 down, okay. There's 13. So that would be shoelace, S, or, or string. 13 down is string. S-T-R-I-N-G, 13 down is string. S-T-R-I-N-G, it's a string. It's also called a shoelace. All right, uh, 12, the clean teeth, that's a toothbrush. T-O-O-T-H-B-R-U-S-H, toothbrush. Okay, 16 to cut food, that is a knife. Now it's spelled with a K, it sounds weird. K-N-I-F-E, knife, 16. And that's also F. To take photos, you need a camera, that would be C. C-A-M-E-R-A. -E uh, and 18 to charge batteries, you need a charger. C-H-R-G-E-R, -E charger. Okay, we did our crossword. Go back and forth between 106 and this page here, 64, to be sure you've got them all. Optional activities, page 65. Okay, now we're going to do our listening. Now we're going to do the listening. Okay, we are on unit eight, listening. Listen to an interview with the mayor of Rockwell. Check the activities the city council is planning and answer the questions. The city council are the people elected for a city to help the city run. Okay. First one is freeze bus and subway fees to help students and seniors. To freeze the fees means to stop raising them. They're going to be the same price for another year. Okay. Hello, Madam Mayor. Can you tell us about the City Council's plan for the plans for this year? Of course. First, because of complaints about transportation costs, we've decided to freeze the bus and subway fees for students and seniors. This will help them stay mobile in the community. Mobile means to move around, help them move around in the community. What about other plans? I've heard about a proposal to renovate Town Hall. Unfortunately, we won't have enough funds for those renovations. Instead, we will invest in new playgrounds. We will build a park to benefit young children and a sports complex to benefit teenagers. As you know, a lot of people lost their jobs when the car factory closed. Will you do anything to help them? That is a very important issue for the city council. We will offer job training programs at the community college. We will open a job placement center in the post office building. What about the mail services? Our mail services will continue as usual. Is there anything else you can tell us? Well, I think everyone will be happy to hear that we are going to fix the city roads. Repairs will start next month, and we hope the potholes on city roads will be fixed by next spring. Okay, listen, uh, let's read our questions. Why will the council freeze transportation costs? Number two, where will the training be offered? Three, what will be built for teenagers? And four, when will road works be completed? Road works are building roads or fixing roads. Okay. And check everything that the city council is planning to do. 
Is it planning to close off streets to promote community festivals? Renovate the town hall to improve meetings. Build new playgrounds to benefit children. Offer job training to support the unemployed. Start a free newspaper to advertise local events. Fix potholes in, on main streets to improve driving conditions. Increase mail services to speed up deliveries or create an annual summer fair to support local artists. All of these are good ideas, but not all of them are in this uh, listening part. So listen closely. Check the ones that you hear. And for one, two, three, and four, circle A or B. Circle the correct answer. Listening one more time. Hello, Madam Mayor. Can you tell us about the City Council's plans for the year? Of course. First, because of complaints about transportation costs, we've decided to freeze a bus and subway fees for students and seniors. This will help them stay mobile in the community. What about other plans? I've heard about a proposal to renovate Town Hall. Unfortunately, we don't have enough funds to pay for their renovations. Instead, we will invest in new playgrounds. We will build a park to benefit young children and a sports complex to benefit teenagers. As you know, a lot of people lost their jobs when the car factory closed. What will you do? Will you do anything to help them? That is a very important issue for the city council. We will offer job training programs at the community college. We will open a job placement center in the post office building. What about mail services? Our mail services will continue as usual. Is there anything else you can tell us? Well, I think everyone will be happy to hear that we are going to fix the city roads. Repairs will start next month, and we hope the potholes and city roads will all be fixed by next spring. Okay, let's look at 1 through 8. Close off the street to promote community festivals. They are not doing that, so no. Renovate the town hall? No, they're not going to improve meetings. No, they're not going to do that. They don't have enough money. Build new playgrounds to benefit children. Yes, they are doing that. Offering job training to support the unemployed. Yes, they're doing that. Start a free newspaper to advertise local events. Nope, not doing that. Fix potholes on main streets to improve driving conditions. Yes. A pothole is a hole in the street. Now, these happen because streets freeze and fall during winter and it creates holes. And because heavy trucks drive over them. Increase mail service to speed up deliveries. Nope, they're not doing that. Create an annual summer fair to support local artists not doing that. Why will the council freeze transportation costs? A, because of complaints. Where will training be offered at the community college? What will be built for teenagers? B, the sports complex. When will the roads be completed? That will be by spring. Okay, great job. Let's move on. Pronunciation. Pronunciation. Okay, listen to the word that I say, and then circle it. Okay, man, man, two, pet, pet, three, said, said, four, gem, gem, five, axe, axe, pen, pen. Seven, mat, mat, eight, had, had, nine, ham, ham, ten, and, and. Read the advice from successful CEOs. The CEO is the chief executive officer of a company. These are messages from some very, very, very famous CEOs. I'm convinced that about half of what separates the successful entrepreneurs from the non-successful ones is pure perseverance. Steve Jobs, co-founder and former CEO of Apple. Entrepreneur is someone who creates an, an idea for a company, a product or service. And successful means you're, you succeed in doing it and not successful means you fail. Per perseverance is doing the same thing over and over and over again until you get results. Okay, next one. Why, what do you need to start a business? Three simple things. Know your products better than anyone. Know your customer and have a burning desire to succeed. Dave Thomas, 
founder and former CEO of Wendy's. Wendy's is a fast food restaurant. Okay. My advice is to focus on becoming a complete person. Everyone should focus on the content of his or her job, of course. The work is not the end, it's a means to an end. You owe it to yourself to open up to broader interests, and in the end, it will be better for your career because you will be more interesting and attractive to others. Lloyd uh, Blankfein, chairman and CEO of Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs is a very famous investment firm in the United States. It takes 20 years to build a reputation and five minutes to ruin it. If you think about that, you'll do things differently. Warren Buffett, CEO of Berkshire Hathaway. Uh, Warren Buffett is a very famous investor. Your most unhappy customers are your greatest source of learning. Bill Gates, founder and former CEO of Microsoft. Okay. To be an entrepreneur, you need ambition and perseverance. That would be Steve Jobs. You can work your whole life to build respect, only to lose it in a moment. That's Warren Buffett. Should be Warren Buffett with a T there. The desire to succeed is one of the most important elements of starting a business. Okay. That is uh, Dave Thomas. Dave Thomas said that. The angry customers are the ones to listen to most carefully. That would be Bill Gates. Bill Gates said that. In order to have a great career, you must focus on leading a well-balanced life. That's Lloyd Plankley. Okay, Well-balanced means you, have, you, you don't just work all the time. You also do the things you enjoy. Okay. Those are the answers. All right, fill in the blanks with the most suitable words using the two infinitive form. This is your grammar review. We're on page 67. And this is important because grammar review is where you uh, is, is put together in the same style as the exams are. So it's a good idea to study this carefully. All right, example. We went to Italy to visit Vatican City. Uh, Vatican City is the part um, where the Pope lives and the... A lot of cathedrals and stuff there. Went to Antarctica to fly a plane over the coldest continent. Went to Peru to hike up the mountain to see Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is a one of the seven wonders of the world. It's the remains of the palace. We went to Egypt to ride a camel in front of the pyramids. I've ridden a camel. Kind of fun. Went to Australia to swim in the waters near the Great Barrier Reef. We went to the USA to see to stand on the edge of the Grand Canyon. Went to the USA to stand on the edge of the Grand Canyon. I did that. This sounds like a bucket list. These are things people want to do in their lifetime. Okay. We went to Switzerland to ski on snow in the Alps. The Alps are very tall mountains. We went to Switzerland to ski on the snow in the Alps. Went to India to take a photo in front of the Taj Mahal. You take a photo, take a photo. Went to India to take a photo in front of the Taj Mahal. Went to Iceland to see the northern lights in the sky. Went to Iceland to see the northern lights in the sky. Northern lights are lights caused by energy hitting the Earth's atmosphere, and they cause beautiful lights. Okay. To fly, to hike, to ride, to swim, to stand, to ski, to take, and to see. All right. Now, match the phrase on the left with the most suitable one on the right. Suitable means the best answer. Example one. He was hungry enough to finish the whole meal. She was angry enough to shout on the phone. Shout means to yell. It's E. Angry enough to shout on the phone. E. They were so tired as to sleep through the alarm. It's D. They were so tired as to sleep through the alarm. You were too short to ride the roller coaster. C. You were too short to ride the roller coaster. I am sad to hear the bad news. Gee, I'm sad to hear the bad news. He is excited to take a trip abroad. Uh, he's excited to take a trip abroad. 
he is not old enough to drive a car. He, he is not old enough to drive a car. They are too late to see the start of the show. H, they are too late to see the start of the show. I am too frustrated to try again. F, I am too frustrated to try again. All right, C, complete these sentences with your own infinitive sentences. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what my answers are, but if you have a different answer, you can write that in. A baseball stadium is a good place to watch baseball games. A university is a good place to get a college education. A big city is a good place to see, uh, is to uh, go sightseeing. You could also say, to shop, um, to um, uh, to go to the theater. There are many things you can do in a big city. A museum is a good place to see all the things. A museum is a good place to see old things. A convenience store is a good place to get a soda. A convenience store is a good place to get a soda. You can get other things. You can get uh, crackers or snacks or whatever. A hospital is a good place to get medical treatment. A hospital is a good place to get medical treatment. A kitchen is a good place to find food. It's also a good place to make food. A kitchen is a good place to make food. A library is a good place to read books. It's also a good place to find books. A library is a good place to find books. Be sure you understand this vocabulary. You may be asked on your test, what's a good place to, and then you have to, you have to answer. Okay? So be sure you understand this. All right, great job. Remember to study your grammar review and be sure to understand all the vocabulary and be understand how to answer the questions in the grammar review. Great job, guys. For our next lesson, we're going to be working on chapter, sorry, unit. We're going to be starting on unit nine. Have a great day.